In this example, we're given the sine of angle A equals negative 9 over 41, and the measure of angle A lies somewhere between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. We need to find the exact value of the cosine of A over 2. So I'm going to need a half angle identity for the cosine function. So here it is, the cosine of A over 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine A all divided by 2. To use this formula, we need to know the cosine of angle A. Is that what I was given up here? Unfortunately not. So I'm going to have to use this given information to find the cosine of angle A. There are two ways of doing this. One uses Pythagorean identities, but that's going to involve the use of a lot of fractions. I prefer to just draw my angle in standard position. And so looking at my angle, angle A lies between 270 and 360 degrees. So it's somewhere in quadrant 4. So I just draw my angle somewhere in quadrant 4. And then draw my little triangle. This is X, this is Y, and this is R. And my angle A rotates all the way around to quadrant 4. But I know that the sine of angle A equals negative 9 divided by 41. Remember, the sine function in terms of x, y, and r is y over r. Well, r is always positive, so r is positive 41. y, therefore, has to be negative 9. And does that look correct in quadrant 4? Yes, y has to be negative in quadrant 4. R was equal to 41. And so now I need to find x. Well, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We don't know x. So x squared plus y is negative 9 all squared equals r squared, which is 41 squared. So x squared plus negative 9 all squared is positive 81 equals 41 squared is 1,681. Now I need to subtract 81 from both sides. I get x squared equals 1,600. So x equals plus or minus the square root of 1600, which equals plus or minus 40. However, as a terminates in quadrant 4, we know that x must be a positive number. So we know x equals positive 40 as angle a is in quadrant 4. So now I can find the cosine of angle A. Remember the cosine is x over r. x is 40 divided by r is 41. So I'm running out of room, so let's go to the next slide. I've already written on here the information from the previous slide. I'm almost ready to use this formula, but I've got to decide on the plus or minus sign. Be careful, this is the cosine of A over 2, not the cosine of A. But we know if A lies between 270 and 360, if I take this inequality and divide each part by 2, I get 135 degrees is less than A over 2 is less than 180 degrees. That means angle A over 2 is in quadrant 2. My half angle is somewhere over here. So this is my angle A over 2. 
and what sine is the cosine function for every angle in quadrant 2. Remember the cosine is negative in quadrant 2 because the cosine is x over r and x in quadrant 2 is a negative number. So I'm going to have to pick the negative of the two signs. So I know that the cosine of my half angle A over 2 is the negative square root of 1 plus cosine A. So it's 1 plus cosine A is 40 divided by 41, all divided by 2. So it's negative the square root of, how do you add fractions? Common denominator. So 1, I can turn into 41 over 41. That is equivalent to 1. Plus 40 over 41, all divided by 2. So that equals the negative square root of Common denominator, add the numerator, 41 plus 40 is 81, divided by the common denominator of 41, divided by 2. I want 2 as a fraction, so turn it into a fraction just by dividing it by 1. So I get negative the square root of, when you divide fractions, you take the fraction in the numerator, 81 over 41, and multiply it by the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator. Well, the reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 half. Nothing reduces there, so I get the negative square root of 81 times 1 is 81 over 41 times 2 is 82. So that simplifies to negative the square root of 81 divided by the square root of 82, which is negative. The square root of 81 is 9, and the square root of 82 does not simplify because it's 41 times 2. Both of these are prime. Now, if you don't need to rationalize your denominator, that is your answer. But if you need to rationalize the, your denominator, you take negative 9 of the square root of 82 and just multiply it by the square root of 82 divided by the square root of 82. So that gives you negative 9, the square root of 82, all divided by the square root of 82 times the square root of 82 is just 82. And that is the answer when you have to rationalize the denominator.